I'm Barkley Poling, Small Fruit Specialist, NC State, Department of Horticultural Science, and I'm out here today with Andy Myers, who is the uh, manager over all the different crops here at the Piedmont Research Station in Salisbury. We're really excited about this project. It's a research project, but we thought we'd uh, share with the viewers at this website some of the developments taking place with the strawberry tunnel research. We erected these tunnels in August of 2006. Uh, they go up really good. We used a skid steer with a post hole digging attachment on it uh, to screw the legs into the ground here. They're about 30 inches into the ground. Then uh, we covered them with the, this is a, a, a luminance plastic that Haygrove developed for their tunnels. It, it diffuses the light. We did 150 foot long tunnels instead of the 300 foot tunnels that Haygrove recommends and we did that because they wanted to build three 300 foot tunnels and we decided to build six 150 foot tunnels because we could do more research in it mm -hmm. uh, and we get better ventilation inside of a 150 foot tunnel than we do with the yeah. with the 300 so and it's a little easier to manage when you're covering it and whatnot so if we come in here in, in uh, August and, and make our beds just like you do out in, in outdoor production of strawberries uh, we've done different planting dates over the years so I can't really we don't have it nailed down exactly when the ideal planting time is, but we're, we're getting really close uh, to around the first, uh, first or second week in September. Seems to be working the best for us. Uh, we seem to have settled some questions. One is the variety to grow. And interestingly enough, we didn't go with the standard Chandler or Camarosa that all our growers know who grow strawberries in the strawberry plastic culture. We went with a Florida variety called Strawberry Festival. Andy, I, I'm really impressed to see the quality uh, after all this cold, cloudy weather that we're having with the festival this, uh, this January, uh, certainly to keep those, many of those blooms alive. And then the other thing that concerned me a lot was perhaps that we'd have some injury on the berries that were just getting ripe, but yeah. you had an excellent harvest here yesterday. And then when you harvest again next week, we're gonna be coming in and seeing some beautiful berries for the uh, final week of January. It mm. looks to me like we might even have some of those stem berries ready for Valentine's Day in, uh, yeah. in February. I'd say this one has a stem of about, oh, seven inches or mm. so, which yes. would make the grade for what we call a stem berry pack. And stem, stem berry packs bring the highest price in the strawberry market. And they lay these berries out, uh, and you can see a, a very nice presentation, not only of the fruit, but these six, seven, eight inch uh, stems. Sure. When that's full ripe, it's gonna have a wonderful uh, aroma and an even better flavor yeah, on it. Yeah, it so. will. And you know, last year when we lost them on January the 16th, uh, we had 15 to 17 stem berries like that on the plants wow. when we lost them. And that, that was some serious money. And you know what's amazing, Andy, to me is as we ran through all the data for last year uh, and picking from late October uh, all the way through into uh, May, you had plants that yielded a total of about two and a half pounds of fruit per plant. That's right. Which is really extraordinary. Even in the field, we're lucky to get two pounds of plant, and that would be a great year. So one of the first questions I had going into all this research three years ago was productivity. Uh, most people argued that, oh, you can't possibly get an economic yield out of a tunnel. But heck, when you're pushing two and a half, three pounds, right. I think you better rethink those ideas about this not being economic. In fact, we put a pencil to this, and even with the structures costing well over 30,000 or so per acre, Andy, is right. that the latest yeah. figure yes. we're working with, uh, when you amortize this over the life of the house and look at the value of a given crop uh, hitting two and a half, three pounds of fruit per plant, it does pencil out very favorably. And we've got some economists working with us now yes, on we that do. part of it. We're doing uh, production budgets. And in concert with them, we have marketing specialists that are looking at this whole new market for locally grown strawberries right here in North Carolina in the middle of the winter. Mm -hmm. And better yet, we can have those berries uh, in markets continuously, it looks like to me, from late fall until the, uh, until the spring crop. Right. Andy, wouldn't you say that's about a week away from harvest? Yes. Uh -huh. And uh, in the wintertime, do you harvest just once a week? Depending on, on mm -hmm. the crop load, uh, right now we're harvesting once a week, but a little bit later on we'll be, we'll be harvesting at least twice a week and sometimes three times a week. So. You know, we've always thought that these holidays would represent an important market for this program, mm -hmm. and here we are coming up on Valentine's Day here 
uh, in a couple of weeks, and I think we're going to hit that one just right. It's going to uh, be real close, yes. A quick question I have in follow-up to that, Andy. When you lost the blooms and such last uh, year, I guess you missed that entire window at Valentine's yes, Day. Yes, we did. Yes. So that was pretty costly, wasn't it? Yes, we, uh, we were out of production for about six weeks, wow. five to six weeks, yes. It's very discouraging. So Andy and I worked this, this past year on coming up with some techniques that should we have another single digit episode, we would survive. Right. Yeah. And, um, and so it's kind of neat to be standing here now and looking at the prospect of having a crop for Valentine's it Day. It is. It sure yes. is. Yeah. Uh, we hope that with uh, the premium prices and premium quality fruit that we can make this a real going enterprise for right. a lot of growers. And right. so we're going to enjoy sharing this information mm -hmm. with many, many people out there.